Hey neighbor, welcome back to ARTV. My name is John. I'm a music lover that's been reviewing music on YouTube for over a decade. I've never heard Ghost Mane's music before, at least not to my knowledge, although I'm very aware of his presence online. He was huge underground for years, and then he was linked to Poppy, and obviously I'm a huge fan of hers, and I'm just, I'm really excited to go into this because I've heard that he blends a lot of genres, including trap, hip-hop, new metal, everything in between. With Ghost Mane, I understand the image is very important, but if you're new to my I've Never Heard First Reaction series, I react to the songs blindly, and since I'm a music critic, a music fan, I always want to focus on the music first. I'll go back and watch the videos later, and make sure you stick around to the end, because that's where I get my final thoughts and rating after I've heard the music more. You guys picked out six songs for me to react to from Ghost Man, and I pulled over on Reddit and my own YouTube community. This is an average of the answers that I saw the most, and the ones that I thought represented not only his newer material, material like Anti-Icon, but some of the older records too. Let's not waste any more time. If you enjoy the video, please drop a like on it. It goes a long way. And subscribe for the love of music. Ring the bell so you get notified when I post other videos. And now you're going to see me react to Ghost Mane for the first time. Up first is a cut from his 2020 album Anti-Icon. A lot of you guys were really hyping this one up, so let's see what there is to it. Whoa. getting some like Nine Inch Nails meets Trap Marilyn Manson vibes. Woo! There is so much filth going on in this mix. Vagabond right out of the gate, man. Smack you in the face with his style. It's very confrontational. There's a lot of trappy percussion, but there's also metallic edges to it that made this feel like dancing on a razor. I was liking this a whole lot more as it progressed. I like the ending of that song a lot. It was just kind of wild and chaotic, but there were also moments where, ironically enough, I'm wearing a Nine Inch Nails shirt. I think Downward Spiral would be kind of a decent comparison. There was some cool shit going on. It took a little bit of getting used to, but by the end, I was getting everything from Nine Inch Nails to like Blackout by Linkin Park meets Trap Metal. Ghost Mane, you got my attention with that one. Curiosity equals peaked. I'm giving this one a thumbs up. It's a light but very curious thumbs up too. Mercury is in retrograde next, so for one of his most popular, one of his most streamed tracks, let's see what the hype's about. That bass sounds like it's making a crater in the moon. This is raw as hell. Am I in the, did I just walk in on an exorcism? <laughs> Guys, some, something's telling me he doesn't give a fuck. I have questions. I got questions on that one. Mercury Retrograde is his most popular track, according to Spotify. And there were certainly some kind of manic flows and energies. The delivery on that one was certainly raw in places, but... I don't know, it could take some getting used to for me. Vagabond, as wild as it might have been in its own way, I felt like that kind of eased me into it. But this one, it was very aggro, but also kind of minimalistic with the kind of sparse production. I dug some of the elements, but overall, for now, I'm going to have to say meh. Venom is the name of the third song I'm going to react to, and I can only hope that it's better than Eminem's Venom. Venom, Venom. Halloween Michael Myers vibes thus far. Why am I getting Beastie Boys walked into Michael Myers' home type of vibes on this? <laughs> I thought I got a text for a second. This flows! Tripping me out. What was that? I'm glancing over at the lyrics, and I can tell that a lot of this just seems to be kind of evoking that kind of violent feeling that I think a lot of parents were terrified of in the 90s. 
And while, in a way, you could still call it kind of edgy and out there now, I think it's been a bit more normalized, but still, some of these lyrics, I was like, what? She got blood on my grandma floor, bitch, I'm draped in coast supply, y'all were sleeping, I don't want your tan clothes. There's a lot of imagery on this one that just kind of feels like somebody just shot up a house and then walked out taking back what was theirs. That was kind of intense, I don't know. Something about that was a little bit unnerving, and I think that, that was probably the goal. So, mission accomplished? I just... Mmm. I'm a little bit conflicted personally on the actual music. Yeah, the more I think about it, there were elements that I liked. I mean, I liked the production on it. It was kind of like eerie and suspenseful in a way, but it also got a little bit repetitive for me. It's less than two minutes long. It worked in places, other places it didn't. I just, I kind of almost got to shrug my shoulders at half of it. Maybe I need more time with it, but for now, meh. Let's get back on the road to redemption. I'm hoping he's gonna wow me a little bit more. Let's try out something newer. Again, from Anti-Icon, this is Lazaretto. Okay. I love the drums on this, wow. I feel like I just sunk into the floor in the movie, get out. Come on, come on, don't tease me. Industrial AF. All right, that one's getting a save on Spotify right away. That one and fuck it, I'm gonna go ahead and throw a Vagabond in there too. He puts out a lot of music, but this newer stuff is clearly a bit more new metal influenced, a bit of an industrial grind. But what I liked about Lazaretto was the crazy drums right out of the gate, the tantalizing synths and the grind, the pulsating beat of the song. It just felt like this dark, deep, manic energy that personified the best things that I've been hearing about Ghostmates. So yeah, a thumbs up. Digging back in the archives for this one, we're going back to 2018 for Trench Coat. Well, now I know what style Corpse Husband's been emulating. This is like headlights cutting through the fog of a cornfield in the middle of the night in a horror movie type of flow. Whew, headlight beams coming right from my eyes. I need, I need protection. Honesty time, glasses coming off. You know I'm being honest at this point. I think that song kind of lost me. Trench coat didn't really do all that much. A lot of it felt very monotonous and I just felt like it was kind of very stereotypical of the SoundCloud rap scene. Trying to be a little bit edgy, but not exactly having a sharp blade. I don't know, something about this one is just telling me even when I do hear it more, it's just not gonna land among my favorites. Not something that I would keep in rotation. But I think that's kind of the beauty that I'm seeing of Ghostman's music so far is that you can generally, if you don't like this, then you might totally be on board for this, especially if you want to buckle up for a bit of a wild ride. But trench coat wasn't feeling it, gonna have to give my first thumbs down. All right, let's go out on a big note. To whom it may concern, a lot of you were really pushing for this one. You were gonna have my head on a steel plate somewhere if I didn't do it. So let's react to whom it may concern featuring Parvo. I The beat is smooth as fuck on this one. I love that, dude. <laughs> I got it, just don't get it. It's Outcast. I knew there was a reference in there. Kind of getting nothing nowhere vibes from this track in particular. The delivery, I like that its vocals are a little bit higher in the mix. I kind of feel like that headed out on an anticlimactic note. I really liked the beat on this song. I mean, I thought that was fantastic. That really kept me engaged to the points where it really did kick in. I liked the flow on this track. Overall, it was kind of unsettling, but it was more of stream of consciousness with the lyrical style. I appreciated it enough to give it a light thumbs up. I enjoyed it, but I don't want to go out on this note. Let's go ahead and fire up Fed Up. It's one of the most streamed on Spotify, and I did see a decent amount of requests for this one, so hit and play now. Bit of ASMR meets Music Box? Hmm, where the fuck is this gonna go? Catchy as hell, I'm not gonna lie. It's like Two-Face 
Harvey Dent type of vibes. I love how he's able to switch it on and off, and that, that shouldn't be as catchy. It shouldn't go that hard, but it kind of did. That's not normally something that I would be like, yeah, that's exactly the type of song that I'm looking for, but that fit the bill pretty well for whatever reason. It was quick and to the point. I appreciate the kind of aggravated style. Obviously, when fame starts piling up, people start asking favors, and it dealt with a lot of that, but it did it in a very catchy, also lurking in the shadows, go for the throat type of way. I dug it enough to give it a light thumbs up. That was, that was pretty dope. We've arrived at the crossroads in the video where I need to go hear these songs more to kind of form my final opinions on them to see if that changes. That's my biggest problem that I have with reactionary content is that I don't think you can truly form an opinion after only hearing something once. So let me go hear these songs more. I want to look into the music videos. I want to look up the persona, the man behind it, Ghost Mane, his other projects, everything like that. So I'll meet you back here tomorrow. All right, we're back. I've listened to Ghost Mane's music more. I've looked into the music videos and the art, and I've watched some interviews, and he's actually a really intriguing person. For as much as I didn't care for some of the songs that I listened to, I think that one, some of them made a bit more sense along with the music videos, especially for the anti-icon stuff. I think that's the album that I'm going to listen to first after making this video. The older stuff and seeing his more southern styled hip hop roots and then bleeding that into more of like a trap metal sound. It's a progression, it's an evolution, and I love when an artist can really show their different colors in that way. Was Ghost Main influenced by Poppy for the more metallic and hard rock sounds? Maybe, but I also feel like he was starting to explore that a little bit more based on the songs that I heard. I appreciate that he kind of has this larger than life, very like bite your head off type of goth feel to the music videos, his whole aesthetic. But he also talks about loving the cosmos and researching and all of these books that he's read. And he's also a huge fan of Outkast, so it makes sense that when I talked about To Whom It May Concern, I pointed out that one lyric, Oh, you think you got it? I knew that was a Hey Ya reference, and it turns out it was confirmed. I'm a big fan of Outkast. Uh, that's like my favorite. It's probably the only rap that I still listen to on a daily basis. As far as my final thoughts go, I think I stand by every rating that I gave, which has never happened before. I normally talk about each song a little bit more if I have extra thoughts, but it turns out my initial reactions and feelings were valid to how I feel now, having heard the songs a lot more times. Overall, do I want to hear more of Ghost Mane's music? I think I want to hear more of what he's doing on Anti-Icon for one, and what he might do with this sound in the future. I personally enjoy that more as more of a rock fan myself. The trappy sound and his flows on some of these tracks can get monotonous, but I do like the underlying message. It seems like he genuinely does have good that he wants to put out in the world, a message to relate to his fans. I could appreciate and respect that. Overall, not my favorite artist that I've reacted to in this series, but I still took something away from it, and I'm glad that I pushed myself out of my comfort zone at least just a little bit. What do you guys think of Ghost Man? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Are you a fan? Are you a hater? Are you somewhere in between? Any and all thoughts, let me know. Don't forget to slap a like on your way out. If you want to see more of these reaction videos where I listen to an artist I've never heard for the first time, then tap the cards on screen now. My Patreon is in the description if you would like to help support the channel, and I'll be back soon with more on ARTV.